أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ثم الصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين مهدي هذه الأمة وخاتم الأمة وطاوس أهل الجنة الحجة بن الحسن العسكري روحي وأرواح العالمين لتراب مقدم الفداء قال الله العظيم في محكم كتابه الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وكونوا مع الصادقين آمنا بالله صدق الله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد One of the downsides one of the downside of the civilization that we live in and I think that will be not just the downside of this civilization, but the doom of civ this civilization is in it, is the focus and the energy that they do on, in regard of entertainment. If you look at the let's say, past 30 years or 40 years even, they shifted their focus from learning knowledge and what's important in life to entertainment. So if you go and ask any young man or, or woman of uh, who their role model is and who their idols are, they will tell you either it's a singer, or it's an actor, or maybe this guy is like uh, may, uh, not as bad as those two, um, uh, a sports uh, person or like uh, a player. And they can name you like which uh, football team they play in, which team they cheering for, and they have all these kind of um, politics going around it even. I still remember, uh, I think it's still going on with uh, the matter of, uh, in, the, in the Italian parliament, they discuss uh, and fight over whose team is better. Then they will discuss the matters of politics and what rega in regards of their uh, country's affair. So they, they are shifting from something that it's unimportant, like um, I think um, not just um, uh, like his, history writes this down in regards of um, actors. They were looked down upon actors uh, in like uh, Victorian times uh, in uh, like um, even Muslim world they were looked down upon. Like they will look at them as someone who's the scum of the society, who didn't have anything better to do but to act. He doesn't possess any talent. But now, knighthood been given to singers, and uh, uh, they give the title of sir to an actor. So, if you look at it, um, what this generation is being uh, fed uh, to, uh, being fed uh, by, it's all, all that he thinks about is entertainment. Like if you go ask, they say um, in, uh, in America, a lot of young people would like to be influencers now, like to be either on TikTok or to be on the YouTube, or that's what occupies their mind now. And instead of that, you know, who, who's, uh, I don't think a lot of people now even know who is the young inventor, right? You know, for example, you see all these shows and like present I, all over the internet. Like if you not even following it, you will see it that, for example, like some country, like their country, American, Britain, or whatever, they got talent. What is their talent? Is entertainment. 
not invention, not something that it's useful. No, it's useless talents. I think uh, I, I remember this uh, um, narration. And God, I don't know which of, uh, which of uh, one of those, Umayyya uh, Khulafa or Abbasi, I'm not 100% uh, sure, that uh, someone came, uh, said like, I, have, I possess this talent as an entertainer, said what, said like I have, I can, uh, he could uh, throw a needle, then on that, uh, hole of that needle, throw another needle to 10 needles. Says, uh, wow, what a talent. So the so-called Khalifa, he uh, appointed uh, like some prize for him, uh, let's say a uh, hundred uh, uh, dina, and he said that lash him a hundred lashes as well. So why is that? He said the hundred dina was like you entertained us. The hundred lashes is for the life that you wasted learning this useless talent. It's a useless talent, like you know, juggling, for example, like one of the u useless things. Uh, that you can buy and look at its um, uh, Guinness World Record. Like who ate more sausages? And who cares? Truly. And on the other hand, we see the narration from Ahl Bayt Salawatullahi Salaamu Alaihi Majma'in that uh, emphasize on uh, how a young person should be. Like, uh, Ya Ahl al Ashreen. Juddu wajtahidu. All the people of the 20s, like, work hard. And uh, we have in the hadith that says, La tazillu qadama abdin yawm al qiyamah illa an illa yus'alu an khams. That a person will not, his, uh, his feet will not slip in the day uh, after until he is asked five things. An umurihi fi ma'afnah. What did you uh, waste your life uh, on? What did you do? Second, That what did you do when you were young? And we have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah a'udhu billahi min shaytan rajim Allahu alladhi khalaqakum min dha'fin thumma ja'ala min ba'di dha'fin quwwatan thumma ja'ala min ba'di quwwatin dha'fa wa shaybatan yakhluqu ma yasha wa huwa al-alim al-qadir that there's three stages. One, like when you are a kid, when you're weak, then you have your prime, then you're weak again. So if you don't use this, I don't know where, where's the world heading. Like uh, with these kind of uh, generation that it's uh, like, uh, what they call it, uh, Gen Z, right? The, with this Gen Z, I, uh, the Gen X like look at it and say, wow, you know, we're doomed. Like, they can't do anything. They can't do anything right now. And that's, I don't know who's doing it, who's shifting the focus from, uh, but I think that is like uh, the down, uh, 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 it's a downward kind of um, thing for the, like, civilization and empires. They go up, go up, go up, and then they shift to start uh, taking um, their focus on what's important to something like this and entertainment. And the thing is, um, we as a Muslim are trapped in the middle with this. So you see that, for example, like the Chinese and the Japanese uh, are shifting their uh, what's important in regard of what's important. Uh, and in regard of science, and uh, they even, I, I heard this in regard of TikTok, you know, it's the generation of TikTok. A lot of uh, young uh, generation now, uh, if you ask them that, what is the last book you've read? So I can't even say that I even read a book. All that, that he does, like, uh, it's, he gets his information from TikTok. They say that in China, what they are doing now, they're limiting the hours the government itself, not just that, it doesn't show them a lot of entertainment rather than a lot of information. And they say a lot of Chinese kids now, they, uh, what, if they ask them uh, about what they want to be, they say like uh, ast astronauts, scientists, that's what they are shifting their focus from. So we have today um, the... Uh, 
Our talk is on a foc our focus is on Muslim Aqil, the ambassador and the envoy of Imam Hussein sallallahu uh, alaihi wasallam. Maybe a lot of people don't know this that Muslim Aqil was 28 years of age. He was very young. He wasn't an old man. That Imam Hussein sallallahu alaihi uh, he said to uh, Muslim, uh, he said to the people of Kufa while with, uh, when he sent his envoy that I am sending you my brother uh, that I am sending you my brother, my cousin, my trustee one from my uh, household Muslim ibn Aqil. How someone like this young man becomes a trustworthy and an envoy and an ambassador to Imam Hussein sallallahu wa sallam And you see, what we know about the life and the short life of Muslim ibn Aqil in Kufa, that one of the things that he uh, didn't do, he didn't assassinate uh, Ubaidillah ibn Ziyad. I mean, now we think, oh, why didn't he? If he would have assassinated Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, then all the Karab al Ansan would not happen. But to Muslims, what important was what, that Al Islam qaydu al Fatk. That uh, you don't, do not betray someone who comes to your house. You don't do that. You know, there's, there's a standard. And that's why you see someone like Muslim ibn Aqil is remembered. And Someone like Muslim ibn Aqil, again, when he uh, give a will and to wants to find someone to give, give him his will, and he says that he doesn't talk about Humaydah, his daughter. He doesn't talk about his family, even though if you know that Alu Aqil, uh, they were extinct, all been killed, all been martyred in Karbala. There is no one left from the lineage of Aqil anymore. He didn't talk about them. He didn't talk about his family. He said that, I want someone, I have a debt, right? To repay and to tell that to repay my debt. Second, to tell that my Imam, Abi Abdullah al Hussein sallallahu alayhi not to come. Do we think, like, when we uh, recite in the Dua Ahd uh, of uh, Imam Sahib al Asr wa Zaman, Ajallah ta'ala farajah al Sharif. اللهم اجعلني من أنصاره وعوانه والذابين عنه والمسارعين إليه في قضاء حوائجه. Do you think you know I could be that? Can I be that trustworthy a person who is trustworthy to Imam صلى الله عليه وسلم عليه? No, it's just merely like a dua that I read. A lot of they say that Imam صاحب العصر بزماع جل تعالى فرجه الشريف. He has companions. While he's alive, who live and die, and Imam continue his life. So, at least that I can be like step closer to my master. Do I take that as an example that to be like Muslim Naqil, to be a trustworthy to Imam, or just to be uh, someone who uh, would like to entertain himself 24 7? and find ways to have fun. And uh, you know, what they say, it's, uh, the number is staggering and it's really um, horrifying. Um, they say in, like in 2021, during, during COVID, COVID, that uh, the Americans spend $178 billion on gaming. This year, 58, and the number will go up to 98, Billion dollar, right? It's just on gaming. I remember still this TED talk in regard of um, gaming industry that says one of the people regrets now, like before they die, say I didn't have uh, more fun. That's what they are feeding up, feeding us with. That you know you have to have fun. It's uh, you know it's uh, one life. You need to live it instead of what uh, Muslim Naqil teaches us and what Ali Al-Akbar teaches us and that he says uh, 
أو ليسنا على الحق إذا لا نبالي أوقعنا على الموت أم موقع الموت علينا A person, a young man is an energy that's been wasted today and inshallah we can uh, be one of those people uh, that pushes our youngsters, pushes our youth to be uh, a step closer uh, to their master and Imam Sahib al-Asr wa Zaban, Ajillah ta'ala farajah wa sharif, like